Hello and welcome to the Dehancer YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through installing and setting up Dehancer plugin for Adobe Photoshop on both Mac OS and Windows. First, make sure your system meets the requirements for smooth performance. Then go to our website, Products, Plugins for Photo Software, select Dehancer for Photoshop, then your operating system, and click Download. Once it's done, unzip the file if needed. Next step is to select the appropriate distributive. For this purpose, the file name contains the host application. Then, run the Photoshop installation file and follow the steps. When finished, launch or restart Adobe Photoshop. For correct work of the plugin, make sure your color settings and color spaces are consistent throughout the entire processing and viewing pipeline. Film emulation usually doesn't require the gamut wider than sRGB due to the natural printed media gamut compression. But for creative flexibility, Dehancer Photo Plugin also supports following color spaces. sRGB, Adobe RGB 1998, Profoto RGB, Display P3, Beta RGB. The same profile list is available in the Output Tools section. Normally, the output space is the same as the input space. If not, please select the profile that matches the working space of your host application and the system screen calibration. To set it up in Photoshop, go to Edit, Color Settings and put the parameters as shown on the screen. Afterwards, open any photo to begin processing. Go to Filter, Dehancer, Dehancer Film to launch the plugin. On the very first launch, the settings window will open automatically. You can also open it anytime by clicking the gear icon. Use the Update Film Profiles button to download the profiles. After it's done, Dehancer is ready to bring the analog film look to your workflow. Check out how to work with Dehancer tools in our step-by-step -step guides. We've already covered how to use film profiles and fine-tune the push and pull parameter, how to make digital footage look like film with the film compression tool, how to set up input source and other tutorials and user guides. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel.